Well, welcome to part two of the homemade custom Transformers Rise of the Beast Scourge figure. This is part two. This is the transformation. So take a look at the robot we did on part one. So the transform this figure, first we're gonna do is take off the mask. We're gonna take the accessory and we're gonna actually um, come to the bottom of it. And where those black tabs are, we're going to attach that mask. And then we'll kind of just fold this piece out and attach the mask there. So this is essentially gonna become the back of the truck. Leave it to the side and the main figure right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is the chest piece. Um, so there's gonna be these two tabs right here. I'm going to slowly unslot those tabs from the metal pieces. And then this chest piece will kind of fold down. So we're basically unattaching the chest or the front of the truck from the window screen. And then on this side, you can see there is a peg right there that is attached to the front of the truck. And if you watch, I'm going to unslide that peg. And every peg has these black dot indicators. So if you see any black dot with the uh, metal staples, it means it's a peg. So we're essentially gonna release that and you can see the front of the truck. Um, we're going to come to the top here where his head is. And there is this middle piece here. You're going to flip that up. And nothing is attached to this. And from truck to robot, it's basically just push this down so we can get out of the way and make sure this flap is out here. So we're basically going to undo that and then we're going to come to the back of the robot. Um, this tab is actually supposed to be up here with the head, but because we took the mask off, it probably um, already unpegged by itself because the mask was attached to this. But basically, just uh, going to unpeg that, but it's pretty simple. We're going to take these chain pieces that are attached to this black dot tab here and we're going to slowly unpeg them like this. And once you do that, it kind of releases this piece here, which is the back of the truck. I'm going to simply unfold uh, this down, um, fold this up, and we're, this is going to be the back of the truck, right? So it kind of looks like a mess right now, but we will get to it. You're going to rotate these chain pieces that we unpegged up so you can get them out of the way. And then we're going to come to the arms because we're essentially done with the chest piece, right? You're going to take each arm and move them, um, just kind of col uh, collapse them by the chest. Same thing with the other side. Collapse them by the chest. Now each arm is going to be a peg for the side of the truck. So it's basically, once again, the black dot, black dot. We're gonna unpeg it like that. And that's going to loosen the sides of the truck. Unpeg like that. And then basically, since we collapsed the arms, we're now going to tab in the sides of the truck. So we're gonna take this tab here, connect it to that. Come on. Peg it like that, push it in, push this peg out like that. And then this peg underneath, um, you just leave it out. And then you do the same thing on the other side. So this, this arm piece kind of moved up. So we're gonna collapse that and just basically do the same thing. Attach this like that. Push it in nicely, and then fold in the tab like that. So 
So we are done with the front of the truck for now. Next we're going to do is come to where the head is and we're going to just push the head down and then we're also going to come to the body piece here and there's going to be a curve right um, in the uh, behind this tab. We're just going to softly push it. And then we're going to come to the back uh, top of the head or the top of the truck and the back side tab here and the top of the truck are going to pegging like this. And you can see the head is going to disappear. Fold it up nicely like this. And then this tab, you can just fold it anywhere inside the truck, move those smoke stacks up and you can kind of see the truck is forming. So we're done with essentially almost uh, the front of the truck. And so the legs are pretty cool. Um, the engineering is pretty cool on this one. Um, I'll show you it. So. You're going to come to the side of the leg. We'll do this one first. And we're going to unpeg this tab here with the black dot. See, black dot, black dot. And once you untab that, the legs will start to fold in. So you're gonna completely fold it out like this. And then you're going to simply rotate, rotate that. And then you can see the wheels, the back wheels have appeared. Now this door piece, you're going to move it up and then you're going to take this peg, which was used to uh, build up those legs and nicely tab it in with the window of the truck. And then once you do that, push the peg down so it secures the robot. But then we're going to attach the wheel side and then the door together and it's actually underneath it. So the same black tab that we used to connect the legs is going to be the same tab we used to connect the sides of the truck. So push it up like that and that's going to secure the truck really nicely. The toes, you're going to fold it out the way like that. And then you're going to take the trailer piece here. There is a black dot right there and there is a black dot right there and we're going to peg it in like this nicely. Oh, come on. And then same thing, fold it like that so it secures it. And we are done with the, um, the side of the truck. So same thing on the other side of the leg. You're going to untap this nicely, fold it straight out and then you're going to rotate because it's on a joint, it can rotate. And then the same thing, we are going to move that door piece up and then also move this peg up, connect it with the top of the window, fold it nicely. And then we're going to take the tab that's on the wheel, rotate it, connect it with the black dot right there. And if the peg doesn't go in, it's sometimes due to the peg, um, which is, you know, been used to plug into different spots, um, warning out, just like an actual transformer figure. So, uh, oh, the whole thing just came off, but. Uh, let me actually do that peg first. So you can also do the peg. Come on. See, it's kind of warring out, just like, you know, some real Transformers, but you just, the pegs are good quality and they're long too, so it's like you can still use it. You know, we don't want to make the pegs too short and then it breaks off and you can't really use it. You just have to nicely transform, you know, it's a puzzle. That's what Transformers are, you know, some of them. They're also kids' toys. So, same thing, take the peg, connect it with the black dot, push it in nicely, tuck it in like that. This one just can't kind of came out. And then we're going to come to the bottom of the foot or bottom of the back side of the truck. And we're just going to push these in out of the way.
and you can actually tuck them anywhere really the that this is what the bottom of the foot would have been and then the toes they kind of just stick out like that and um, essentially that is kind of the truck right there the smoke stacks has those chain pieces you can actually fold it in and tuck it anywhere really it's not going to harm the figure but yeah that's the uh truck mode right there get a nice look at it there's the front so what's really cool is that you know this is actually the chest of the robot is now the front of the truck the windows are nice and um, i like the color on the windows with the orange yellow you know the try to make this as accurate to the film so it's like a Mad Max style truck in the back of the vehicle um, if a peg like this comes off it's okay um, it's not going to detach itself um, but yeah you can see just a really cool truck even got some detail on the back side of it so yeah, that's part two. Part three is going to be a little bit of the truck and how to integrate the accessories. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.